guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka today we're back for another cooking video I know you guys love these ones and yeah I'm not like a specialist or like a chef or anything but I like to try recipes and film the process <laughs> and share it with you guys so today I'm trying a beef stroganoff recipe I love beef stroganoff I think you can replace the beef with chicken if you like or like an alternative meat um, but I'm going to be using beef today and yeah I think I want to make pasta with it so I'm going to follow the recipe I'll link it in the info box today's post notification shout out is going to go to Nida by Yumi thank you so much for the kind words I really appreciate it if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment so for the ingredients you're going to need 450 grams of sirloin steak I bought like the Tesco finest ones I have around 250 grams of of brown mushrooms I've got three quarters of a cup of whipping cream a quarter of a cup of sour cream I've got a cup of beef broth I then also got a medium onion mine's kind of small so I've got like I might take a, a one and a half because it says one medium onion but mine looks really small compared to what was on the video but you know what I think I might just use one actually uh, one garlic clove I've got chives just to finish the recipe off you're going to need one tablespoon of Worcester, Worcester? I feel like I'm butchering that, Worcester, it's Worcestershire, is it Worcestershire? Oh my god, I don't know, but anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about, a tablespoon of that, half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, I've got a tablespoon of plain flour, and yeah, you just need some salt and black pepper, and I'm going to be using tagliatelle pasta. I don't know, lately I've been loving to cook recently, I don't know why. We're going to thinly slice the sirloin steak. I might take that fat out. Not too much, but I don't want all of that in there, to be honest. The problem with me is I kind of avoid like beef based kind of recipes because my meat always ends up rubbery but the reason why I was like I'm going to do this one is because you can thinly slice the meat and just quickly fry it and it shouldn't be rubbery but like when it's like chunks of beef you know like boeuf bourguignon or something like that like it's really hard to make because my, my meat always ends up rubbery and it's like so frustrating if there's anything you want me to try and make next time and make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments below because i'm always like looking for things to make yesterday i i made my i kind of followed my video on the mauritian curry and it was just so bomb so i even used my own videos <laughs> okay now we've got to cut up the vegetables so i'm going to start with the onion i'm just going to make me cry like hell you know sometimes I really struggle with my channel because social media experts say that it's good to stick to a niche and for me obviously that's makeup and beauty right but then I do like food or I'm a human being I eat and I'm, I'm sure people who like makeup need to eat as well so then I'm just like torn I don't know if I should share these videos and is it gonna like mess up my algorithm like it's just Social media is not easy, it's really not, like, luckily, like, I don't fully, like, depend on social media, I just, I, it's mostly something I do for, as a hobby, but they say, like, it's not really good for the views and stuff to, like, mix up your content, but I just really like changing it up on my channel, I don't know, like, what do you guys think, do you just, are you just here for the makeup, or do you like the mixture of content, because... I really don't know at this point. Someone commented in my last cooking video that I don't know how to cut an onion. How dare you? How dare you? I feel like I cut pretty well. I'm just dicing this up. Obviously, I'm not a chef, but I can do it if you want me to. Keeping like the stalk of the onion, so apparently, and it's actually working. I'm not crying my eyes out right now. Now we're gonna cut the mushrooms. She said to cut these up in thick slices. I can't speak today, and my eyes are burning. My eyes. Oh my god, and I've got makeup on. I'm gonna put that over there. Over there. Okay, that's everything prepped. Let's go and cook on the stove. So we're gonna put the pan on medium high heat. And we're gonna put some oil. She said to do the meat in batches, so I'm gonna do it in two batches because apparently it can make it chewy if you do it all in one go. It changes the temperature of the pan or something technical like that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. And we're gonna 
keep that for one minute on each side. Okay, so I'm going to reheat the pan and put some butter in. I'm going to put our onions in. I also chopped some garlic. This is one clove, so I'm going to put that in. The, all the liquid should be gone, so I'm just waiting for that. Okay, so most of the liquid is gone now. I'm gonna add the flour. Pop this all over. I'm gonna add our beef broth. And then we have to bring this to a simmer. I'm gonna add in my whipping cream. And we just have to bring this to a simmer. Okay, we then have to take a few spoons of the sauce and put it into our sour cream so it doesn't curdle. I didn't even know that was a thing. Then we can add our Worcestershire sauce and our Dijon mustard. Mix that all in. I'm just gonna let that simmer for a bit before adding the beef in. I'm also gonna add in my salt and pepper. A little bit more salt. I'm actually so bad with like salt. I have to like taste it a million times before I get it right. Without splattering it. Put all the juices and everything. Just gonna mix this all up. Okay, so I'm gonna make the pasta and I'll be right back. Okay, let's bring it here. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. Just cutting some chives on the top. This looks bomb.com. Bomb. Bomb.com. It looks creamy. I did taste it. It tastes bomb. But let's try it with the pasta and everything. Oh my god. like blind with the light can't see nothing <laughs> wow and my meat is not rubbery it's not chewy it's perfect That's a 10 out of 10. That recipe isn't really hard, but it's so good. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys trying this. I'm really pleased for like my first try. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy that. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can join the family. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.